The English-born custodian proving to be the difference as Hawke's Bay went down the other end and doubled their advantage. Compared the stronger of the two sides, combining well through the spine of the park, with former Team Wellington players Sam Mason-Smith and Saul Halpin linking up to level the scores. He took one lead, but it didn't last long. Despite the numerical disadvantage, Brent Angel's side was soon awarded a spot kick after Brock Messenger brought down Sam Mason-Smith inside the box. So Halpin stepped up to claim his fifth Second goal time of the season. Halpin made no mistake inside the penalty area. 1-0 to Hawke's Bay after 12 Hawks Bay minutes. United, though, decided to apply the pressure. Halpin with some skill and would eventually be awarded the free kick. Tom Fordry replacing Tarifa in goal, who went off injured, would have to face. A perfect execution from the midfielder to get his hole of the season teammate Facundo Barbero to deliver the final blow. Halpin would soon get another chance though, this time from a Corey Chetelbara corner. And it was stopped by a cracking save. Later, White Sacks replacing goalkeeper Liam Anderson would be properly tested for the first time when Halpin got yet another chance. Great save by it. Kill Collie. Touch it back, surely. Yes, to go. Due to the absence of Silvio Rodic, goalkeeping coach Mike O'Keefe was called into action, but he couldn't get enough on Sol. The first shot. half was far from over as Hawks Bay searched for yet another equaliser, and they found it. Help him with a second of the day, this time from distance, to toe on the stands. But it didn't seem to affect the Bay's performance early on, going ahead in just the second minutes. Keeper Tom Fordry could only do so Angle much. Kirk Raw, no the choice ball. but to award a penalty. Saul Halpin converting from the spot end for his scoring his fourth goal in two games to put his side back in front. In an action packed the Vero by the shirt. Six forward for Hawks Bay, two on the edge of the box. It's well down the header. Conrad wanted a Bay attack to keep the scores level, but they wouldn't remain that way for long. Ross Wilcox getting on the end of a Saul Halpin was disappointed corner. with his signed start. However, his frustrations were allayed 15 minutes in as he sat back and admired his side's equaliser. Saul Halpin.